Hey peeps, it's me, Lydia. If you're new, hello, welcome, how are you? So today I'm doing this glittery Christmas graphic liner. And if you want to see how I created it, then just watch it. And don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm going to do first, what my usual is just set my eyes. I'm going to just take the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Can you believe Christmas is next week on my head? <laughs> you know what? Like, it doesn't matter how old I get, I still get the same hype every single year when it comes to Christmas. I'm just like, Ooh. I'm like a big kid. Okay, what I want to do... I want to do like a glittery graphic liner. I'm going to make it green because, you know, green's such a Christmas vibe. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I want to create like a nice neutral base underneath the liner. So I'm going to take a bronzer. You can take any bronzer. I'm going to take this Revolution Glow Spender Ultra Bronzer. And I just take this Morphe M441 brush, just like a little buffer brush. And I'm just going to lightly just dust it over my eyelid just have like a neutral base underneath and this bronzer is so smooth it's actually really nice very cool tone bronzer easy busy lemon squizzy also guys if you notice i changed my lighting what do you guys think do you think it's better than what it was before i changed everything i changed my camera settings i changed my lighting i shushed it up a little bit so you can see me more hd Okay, let's do the liner. So I'm going to take my usual Morphe M250 liner brush. I'm going to take this Be Perfect Carnival 3 palette. And I'm going to take this shade, Forest. I'm going to take some Fix Plus, And I'm going to wet my brush. I'm going to dip it into the eyeshadow. And it's going to help me make a liner. Wet the brush, dip it into the eyeshadow. And I'm going to draw my liner. You can literally turn any eyeshadow you have into an eyeliner. So you don't have to buy every color. I'm gonna go quite thick on the edge. You wanna make the band of the liner quite, not really thick, but you can make it as thick as you feel that so will stand out on your eye. And don't worry about if you haven't got the liner straight on the edge because we can take concealer and clean that up after. I'm just doing like a basic wing. Every time before I want to get more eyeshadow, I just re-wet the brush and then I dip it in again. That's the best I'm gonna get. <laughs> okay, so you can leave it like this if that's the easier way for you i'm gonna make it a bit more dramatic and i'm gonna take the liner around so i start with the point and i just flick it around you just follow the curve of your inner crease okay we're done now <laughs> the thought of having to do the other eye i'm just like <laughs> please So like another tip what I would like to do if I try to even it out, even though my eyes are not symmetrical, I like to follow the crease. So this one you can see if I follow the crease of this eyelid and I go around, I can roughly measure with my eye how thick the gap is between that crease of my eye and and the line. You want to have also a really straight hand when you do it. You don't want to be a bit... You don't want to have wobbly hands, you know? Don't go slowly, just go, just believe in yourself and just do the one line. And then I just go over everything basically, just to make sure that everything is like really neatly done and all the lines are sharp. But you kind of want to find it like a, a mutual pinpoint. I think I'm happy with that, in all honesty. It's groovy, baby. That was the hardest bit done, we're all groovy now. You can relax, you can breathe. Make sure that that liner and the shadow that you've used is dry before you take the next step and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some lash glue and I'm gonna take some green glitter this is a NYX glitter in the shade just green I don't know if they still do it again I got it a while ago so I'm gonna put the eyelash glue on the liner this is just a duo one I'm doing it lightly because I don't want it to be too heavy do you know what I mean so I'm gonna take like this really small brush this is a real techniques one and I'm gonna dip this glitter all along that line How unreal does that look? I do it section by section so the glue doesn't dry. Go green. 
You can use any glitter for this and you can make any color with this. This would also look cute for like with a red or a pink. Stunning. Every single time I do a look that I love, I'm like, it's stunning. And that's what the eye looks like. How sick does that look? Mm -hmm. And going that extra mile with that curve, it really does make a difference. <sighs> Let's do the other eye. And then I'm just gonna take some random clean brush just to get rid of this glitter underneath here. Yeah, that'll do. I'm really happy how that came out actually. This bit's bugging me, don't look at that. But everything else, <laughs> that's Christmas, bro. You can't get any more than Christmas here than this. And that is that. Let's put some mascara. Take my L'Oreal Telescopic. And then just stick on the lashes. And then let's put some lashes on. I don't want to put massive dramatic lashes on to take away from the eyes. I'm going to take these Prima lashes in the style Fifi. And I'm going to take ones that I've cut up already in half, just so they can just stick on the corners of my eyes. Also, can I just say, I started filming today at like 9pm. Like, that's early for me. I'm doing well. Usually I'm like doing this at like midnight. Improvements, moving up in the world. So next week, so usually what I like to do is, I like to leave my wrap in and everything till like two days before Christmas. It's all part of the experience. Like, I don't like to just do it now and then. I'm just gonna stare at it. And I get impatient, I just want the pattern to know. Look, I got you. Also, can you see this? That's my fake tan line <laughs> of a t-shirt. And you wanna know how I got that? It's a spray, that's why. So I just, I, I can literally be wearing a t-shirt and I'm like, tss, tss, tss. not a problem. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And that's the eyes done. Leave it alone, we're just gonna do the rest of my face. I'm gonna just take this L'Oreal Infallible Magic Essence. Make sure there's no glitter on your hands, otherwise you're gonna get glitter all over your face. <laughs> oh, this is like moisturizing, but it's not drying. And it has like a, like a little bit of a stick to it. So it really holds the makeup in place. I feel like there's a lot of primers that don't do anything. And then for foundation, I'm going to go in with the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation. I've got a different shade. I've got the shade Punjab. I have Barcelona and I used it in my days of my previous video. It was quite dark. So I'm going to see how this one fits. If it's too light, I'm going to mix it with the other one. But I feel like all the foundation shades in this foundation... It's a bit awkward. Like they're either too light or too dark. Let's see. Ooh, that is light. I'm gonna mix it a bit. I'm gonna mix it with my Barcelona. Yeah, that's so much better. Because all the shades in between these, the one below Barcelona still looked really dark and I was like, I was gonna get that, but then that still looked dark though. But then all the other ones looked either pinky or yellowy. So I had to go with this light. That's like the perfect shade for me, in all honesty. I'm gonna take a bit down my neck. And then what's next? Uh, contour. I'm gonna take my usual LA girl. I always use high-end foundations. I like to mix my my looks with a bit of a few drugstore ones that I do like. Just so it's not just constantly everything high-end. Dab, dab, dab. I always do one side at a time because this stuff dries so fast. My nostrils.
And then for concealer, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. This is in the shade Cashmere. Cashmere Jumper. I sniff it every time. Little rainbow. And that's that. That's really bright, isn't it? <laughs> okay, Fab, so once you're happy with that base, we're gonna set it. Usual powder, Huda Beauty, Easy Bake Powder, as I love to do. I'm gonna start trying to use different stuff here. And I literally do it so lightly. Like, I don't use a lot of powder. Okay, and then we're gonna use some bronzer. I'm gonna just take the same bronze I used earlier, the Revolution one. And I just take it underneath my jaw as well. And then let's just bake, bake, bakey bake as we do. I don't like to take the bake too much underneath the actual under of my eyes because I feel like it dries my under eyes out, but you can take it there. And I like to take the bake all the way up. <sighs> That's groovy. I'm gonna just do my brows. I'm gonna do my brows off camera because you guys have seen me do it a million trillion times. In a memento. So I've done my brows. I'm gonna just take the rest of my powder off my face. Can you guys see the glittery sparkles? I don't know. Blusher. I'm gonna take the... L'Oreal Life's a Peach Blush. We're really getting back into peachy blushes. For a while, I've been obsessed with pink blushes. We're getting back into it. We're getting back, back, back. And plus also with green. I feel like a peachy blush would be, is more fitting. I'm gonna just put some mascara on my bottom lashes. I feel like my brows have gone really smudgy. From the jail. Let's brush all this powder off. Flawless base. I'm gonna put a little bit of highlighter. I literally have two highlighters that I like, in all honesty. I've been liking the Illamasqua highlighter, so I'm gonna use it again today. This is in the shade OMG. Thing is, the highlighter is quite pricey, but there is so much product in it and you literally use the smallest amount to get that glow so it, it is very long lasting so it's worth the money i guess it's a really fine highlighter like look at how fine that is it's like a little veil and then look at that it's so finely molded this highlighter and then i like to put on my nose every time i put something on my nose i like inhale it Disco, disco, let's get ready to party. I'm really happy with that. Then I'm gonna just spray my face with some Fix Plus just to melt all the powders together. And then lipstick. Wait, let me first do my, finish my nose. I'm gonna take my usual Urban Decay Beach Bronzer just to add a little color back into my nose. I'm gonna be using the Morphe Lip Pencil in the shade Sweet Tea. If you want to make it look extra Christmassy, you can add like a red lip, but I feel like I want the focus to be mainly on my eyes, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, I'm going to take the MAC lipstick in the shade Cherish. I hope you guys enjoyed watching have a great day have a great amazing christmas holidays whatever you celebrate i hope you guys enjoyed this look and i'll see you on my next video